Well, isn't it just a beautiful night to finish soybeans? Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to Owl Farms Work. We are in the 8235R and we are about to finish soybeans. So Travis is in the combine right there and uh, we're going over to greet him with the grain cart here. So we've been working on soybeans pretty much all week. Um, haven't had any issues really at all with the soybeans. Um, beans have averaged probably around eight or nine percent moisture which is super dry um, usually we aim for around 13 percent um, anything above that and you get docked for moisture being too high drying costs and then anything below that you lose in yield because there's not as much moisture filling out the beans So far, I've hauled down about 15,000 bushels of soybeans to Gavilon, and uh, I've got a full load that I'm gonna be taking off this down tomorrow, and uh, about 300 bushels worth of dads is gonna be left over, and that's just gonna have to be a trip on its own. But they are calling for rain about three o'clock in the morning, and it's currently sitting at about six o'clock now, so. Um, there's no more than probably 10 acres left now here of the beans. He's almost done with this strip even. So it's been going well. Um, yield's been pretty good. My first no-till field averaged 50 bushels to the acre and my other one averaged 70. So it, it's been pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what this is yielding right now, but for how often he's been getting full, um, I think it's yielding pretty, pretty good. So a lot of this stuff was knocked down in the derecho. Um, this, the beans are a lot easier to deal with to get back into the head, um, especially sometimes if you harvest going one way, going against the way that they're leaning. Uh, that way they're already leaning into the head when they get cut off, otherwise the head can't pick them up and pull them into the, the reel can't grab them and pull them into the head. So um, we're gonna sit here and wait for Travis. Uh, I've got my camera with me, so I'm gonna take some photos real quick. Fly the drone around, it's a beautiful night. Um, after the rain comes, we'll be able to switch everything over and just get ready for corn. Um, last that we had done any corn, it was yielding around 19%. Uh, we've got some corn in the bin, the Sioux bin over at Rockville, that's drying down right now. So, let's go follow Travis around. Nothing like dusting out every neighbor for the next 10 miles.
That's how heavy one dump from the combine is. Well, we just finished harvesting beans. So we got about, I'm gonna guess about 900 some bushels on the semi right now. We've still got that 300 bushels of dads in the shed, but if it's gonna rain tonight, um, that one's in the shed. I'm gonna tarp this one cause it's empty. And then once it dries up, we're gonna start corn. So tomorrow we're gonna take the semi down and haul the last of the beans.